What's going on guys, it's DG, back with another video. Going to be giving you guys a quick breakdown and review of these bad boys right here. These are the JB1, also known as the Jimmy Butler ones from Li Ning. So let's get right into it. I played in these on two different courts already for a total around like four hours. Um, so I've been playing in these, like I've been playing in these guys. Like I actually really enjoy the shoe and these, might rival the wow 10s in just terms of like overall performance although i do think the wow 10s are better and those are under leaning as well so that's why i'm comparing the two but these i was so surprised guys i was so surprised to actually want to play in the shoe more okay so i wasn't really going to performance test these fully but the fact that i actually played in these at the gym two to three times now and didn't even switch out is just insane because I actually really, really enjoy the shoe. So let's talk about why. And the first reason why is because the fit feels like a sock. I got my true size 10 and a half. That's what they sent me. And it feels so good. Okay. There are no hot spots in this shoe and it just feels like a warm, nice blanket, a very good snug fit like it's a good snug there's just a little bit of toe room but it really does feel like an extension of my foot and the reason why i really like the fit is because i have a wide foot and some shoes just like don't fit me well and i really want shoes that i can go true to size in and have no problems because that's where you get the best lockdown the best fit obviously is true to size so these fulfilled that fit column like right out the box. Like I want to talk to you guys about the Sole Premise Athletic Bag. This is the only gym bag that I use when I go play basketball. And that's because it houses everything that I need. So right now I got the LeBron 20 Liverpools in the rotation, KD 15 Inspires in this mango orange colorway. And then guys, I got the Wave Weight 10, the WOW 10 Floridas as well. This bag is super, super great, not only because it houses the shoes, but it's also customizable. So you don't need to have um, these four dividers. You can make it two or just have three, right? So these are completely adjustable. And most of all, I like bringing a big water bottle to the gym. I like bringing towels because I sweat a lot. I like to bring clothes, like extra gear and clothing items because I sweat a lot too. So I need to change after I play. And this gym bag houses everything. I also put like band-aids and stuff like that in this, like disinfectant wipes. So this bag houses everything guys. It is extremely, extremely nice. Very high quality as well. Never had any issues with the durability. And it's actually pretty lightweight. The material is not meant to be super duper heavy as well. So, so definitely go to the link in my description Use code DGHOOPS for 35% off and get yourself a Sole Premise athletic bag. The second reason why I love this shoe is the drop-in boom insole. And I just took it out here, but this is literally the cushion. Like I can bend the shoe now kind of, but there is a plate in here. So this drop-in insole is actually pretty comfortable and it doesn't give me any hot spots like I mentioned. So the fit category, like I talked about is great and this aids in that. And it feels very plush in the heel, but in the forefoot, it's much more firm. So I like that because it provides good kind of heel impact protection, I guess. And then in the forefoot, there's a lot of good court feel, but you still feel the cushion. So it does have that balance of cushion, court feel, impact protection, all that stuff. I would say that if you are looking for a shoe with a lot a lot of cushion then i do feel like these may not be as good as the wow 10. Oh, the fit and the cushion are my two main standouts for the shoe they just feel like a slipper or like a sock like i said like they just feel so nice on my foot so i really really do like that the next reason why i really like the shoe is the aesthetics guys leaning might have the best designers in the game because they are releasing shoe after shoe like you guys see it on social media on way of wade like they're releasing so many different models and they all look good and the last reason why i love this shoe is because of jimmy butler jimmy butler is a beast 
He has been the leader of the Miami Heat, and he's now back in the NBA Finals after carrying the Miami Heat, although so many of their great undrafted role players are stepping up as well. But Jimmy Butler is kind of the head of the snake there. And Jimmy Butler, he's just a beast, guys. I love Jimmy. He's just a great personality, great for the league. His upbringing and story is super duper amazing and inspirational. So I love Jimmy Butler, okay? So having his shoe in this colorway, the South Beach colorway is just a blessing. So I don't necessarily love the traction so far. It grips very well and it's consisted of a foam compound. So it is foam, kind of like the Curry 8, the Curry 9, Curry 10, and the Flow technology there. I do find it pretty comparable to Flow in terms of just the bite and the overall performance. And I do have to play in these more to get a sense of how they perform on different surfaces. So I did play on two different courts so far, but they were pretty clean. And so I'm going to be playing and fully performance testing these over the next few weeks. And I will be playing on dusty courts or I'll try to find one and see if they perform well or even worse than the flow. So I'm not in love with the traction, although it does work guys. It, it really does grip, like trust me, I would not play in a shoe for four to five hours if I did not like the traction. So that should say a lot. The material in the upper consists of this mesh and it's nothing premium at all, but it's super lightweight. So I'm not gonna complain. By the way, it's also mismatched. So it kind of reminds me of the Jaws and the base color is black. However, the colors on each other than black are inversed on each shoe including the outsole so that's really cool this is the south beach colorway obviously and i had to get these because these just obviously are a miami heat colorway and i like colorways that represent the team that the player is on but overall y'all let me know what you guys think of the jb1 that's my quick review quick breakdown so far they are as good of a performer as a lot of nike shoes they might be even better than like a lot of nike shoes so far, the durability on this is not great. Um, it is wearing down already. It's really hard to see, but it is wearing down on like my left shoe because that's my primary foot that I pivot and it's already kind of like fraying. So the durability may not be great outdoors. Overall, y'all, these JB1s are such a great surprise. I know I sound like really excited, but it's mainly because I didn't have high expectations for this shoe. If you know me, then you guys know that I don't necessarily love flow. I think flow on curry models is great on clean courts, but I don't usually play on clean courts and I'm just a regular person. So I have to go to like public courts where they don't necessarily clean the floor. So flow for me has been hit or miss a lot, but these, these have been good to me so far. So let me know what you guys think of the JB1 in the South Beach colorway and I'm gonna catch you guys in the next video. Peace.